and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we are, the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we want you to stop these three habits or your shoulder pain may never go away. Right. And it's interesting, Brad, we're always learning from our patients. I just had a patient that this was very relevant, Don, and I'll tell the story in a little bit. Briefly, yes. By the way, if you're new to our uh, channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Go to our website, bobandbrad.com, and go to the giveaway section because we're always giving something away. Brad, show what we're giving away this week. A TENS unit. Yep. I relieve TENS unit. Great for pain management without having the pain medication. Right. I think we're giving away more than one. I'm not sure. Mike, do you know? Mike doesn't know. No. He doesn't know anything. Okay. Uh, you can also find it on Facebook, uh, Bob and Brad. Pinned to the top of the page, the sure. contest that is. Short version of us, go to Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. TikTok. 60 seconds of us a day. Say no more, Bob. All right. The first habit that you're going to want to stop mm. is actually leaning on your shoulder while you're writing, eating, or at the computer. Or at the computer. Um, this actually, the lady I had, she puts puzzles together. Sure. So she, and this is what why it's especially bad. A lot of times when you lean on the shoulder, you internally rotate it. So the arm goes in this way. That right. And that really impinges on the tendon. In fact, that's the test we do. Right. We, we, the Kennedy Hawkins, we, Hawkins Kennedy, <laughs> Hawkins Kennedy, we turn, internally rotate and bring the arm over. Right. So in other words, you don't want to lean on a shoulder as a habit, like when you're eating, it's a terrible habit of mine. Right. I, I eat my breakfast cereal. I'm, I got, Bob, yeah, Bob, yeah. why? And this is the shoulder I have trouble with too. So I, I <laughs> you know, I had to get out of that habit. Uh, the other thing that we recommend the people I always do when I'm treating someone with shoulder pain is I tell them when they're sitting in a chair to go ahead and support that arm. Right. No matter where you are. If you're in a car and someone else is driving, put a pillow underneath that arm as much as you can. This is a loose packed position of the shoulder and it can heal a lot better. Allows better circulation. Right. Takes the stress off the capsule. But yeah, and you know, smaller, sometimes I find these little bigger ones are better, but whatever, you'll know it. I mean, even without a sore shoulder, it just feels It just feels a lot better, right. right. So just think about what you're doing throughout the day. These habits are important. Let's go to what you do at night. Oh. Let's take Watch a pill. TV? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> do a little bit of that. But if you're going to sleep, we have done this many times, but uh, we're going to repeat it right now. One, you don't want to sleep on the bad shoulder if possible. Right. But if you do, <laughs> we're going to show you what to do in, in that case. Some people, they've been sleeping on that side all their life. And I had a patient, he said, I just can't change. I, I sleep on my back, but I wake up on that shoulder. Right. So in order to help with that, you're going to use, you know, two pillows here. Usually that's what you need to fill in this gap between your ear and your shoulder. Sure. Um, and then you put another smaller pillow here, a throw pillow, and you create the canal. The shoulder canal, not the, the shoulder canal, canal, not the Erie Canal. That's right. So we're going to go over to Panama. Canal. Oh, yes. So yeah. you're going to lean on your side like this. And look, see how that doesn't put as much stress on the shoulder that way. Right. So the pillows take it through the ribs as well as the, the head and yeah. gives you good posture. I sleep state. like this all the time, uh, preventatively. Sure. Um, and you also can lean back a little bit like this. Yeah. If you do it, there'll be a little less pain on the point of the shoulder. Yep. Now, let's say this painful shoulder is this shoulder. On the top. Yeah. When you lay on your side, now it's important for you to go ahead and take one pillow here. And, oh, well, we got our sleep evasion pillow. Yeah. Um, you put another pillow right here. Because what happens if you only have one pillow? Look how my arm is internally rotated. Yep. Again. And it puts that impingement pressure on that right. uh, same area. So you go right here. Now it's nice and comfortable. Right. An alternative is, this is the one I do. I actually sleep with my arm like this. Oh, really? Yeah. I've had some people find it can lift your arm up actually. To, oh, like to that. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. So you'll know it's going to feel the most comfortable. Just shift it around, get it the uh, most com comfortable position, and it'll feel good. Yeah, you're going to want to experiment with it, figure out what works for you. 
Now, the third one is posture. We're always bringing up posture. I, I brought it up last this time so people don't feel like that's all we, hum, you know, we talk about. <laughs> but what happens is when, you, when you're standing, like, for example, can I stand up, Mike? All right. Uh, when you're standing, you want to just relax once and look and see what your thumbs are doing. Now, look at my thumbs. My uh, thumbs aren't doing anything, Bob. Well, they're kind of, mine are naturally starting to point in. So I'm yeah, working on it. direction are they pointing? They're supposed to want to be, you want them pointing straight forward. If they're pointing in like this, this means your shoulders are a little bit rounded. Right, everything. They're a little bit turned in. Like the, yeah. I'm exaggerating, but not in all cases. Not in all <laughs> cases at all. I mean, it's very easy for me to end up with my thumbs pointing towards each other. Sure. So why is that a problem? When your arms are internally rotated and then you lift, that's where you can get that impingement. Right. And Brad, do you want to show the difference between good posture with the arm and bad right. posture? So if you got that rounded posture, and a lot of people aren't even aware of it, and just lift your arm up and you know do it on your good shoulder, and, and you'll see how high you can lift. Now I'm going to go into good posture, and it opens up the joint, and all of a sudden there's a lot, lot of higher. room, and you don't get that impingement. So posture is critical. So just to give you two exercises, that, you know, common ones that we recommend. And again, they're both with that idea in mind, getting those shoulders back, is shoulder squeezes. Yep. So you're going to just go ahead and squeeze the shoulders together. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. And what's nice about this one, you can just do it throughout the day. Right. You know? The shoulder blades need to come together. I always tell my patients, see if you can touch them together, and then you're doing the right motion. Okay, so very easy to do. You can count to five. You know, rip off five at a time or so. You also <laughs> want to check... Uh, Stretch the chest. Yeah. Not chest to stretch, but uh, stretch the chest. And when you're doing these, it actually you're does doing a little bit of that at the same yeah. time. You can go into a doorway, put your arms both on, on both sides of the doorway and lean into it is a really right. good way. If you want to show with the buoy, oh, corner, yeah. Oh, yes. So the corner of the room works good. And um, give a buoy a stick here, Brad. You can show it too, but you know, this is just a great one because then you can reach back and look at that stretch I'm getting now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can go all the way down and get a little, this is a great posture stretch. Yeah, you can feel the, the pec muscles just doing a nice stretch. And it's real controllable. You know, you can, depend on how far you go down, go as far as it's comfortable. Don't create any sharp pain. So there you go. Those are the three habits. And remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go, Bob. But we'll continue to work on that as well. I'm starting to think you're not working on it very hard. No, Bob, I, I, uh, I, I did last night for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thought about it.